Okay. Um, you got a picture. Uh, help me remember stuff. Okay. You said the doors are going. The the, the glass doors. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you said tile? Tile. This is plastic. That's ceramic. Okay. It's plastic. Ceramic beyond. And does any of it, any tile stay? I don't think so. I'd okay. like to get some new tile in here. Okay. Or, yeah, I think tile, because tiles, this is going to be a rental, so okay. I'm thinking about uh, having stuff that's going to stand up to some abuse. Mm -hmm. I would rather do that than mm -hmm. surround, I think. Um, surrounds are lots and lots cheaper. And I don't want to talk myself out of a very lucrative tile job, but I don't want you to put more money and do what you want to do by all means. But Surround would be hard, hard to get around that window. I would take the window out mm -hmm. and put a surround in because I can get a kit. I can get a kit for five hundred bucks and just snap it in, and we'll put a fan in to keep you in compliance with the code. Yeah, of, I do want a fan. Yeah, okay. I do want a fan. The fan will keep you in compliance with building code as far as event opportunity, and close in the window and put in a surround because it's going to go through all kinds of rot potential. It already is. So. And I have a nineteen forty nine exactly like this over there and <clears throat> battling this constantly to the point where I'm going to do mine too. I'm going to take the wind out yeah. and just get the surround in up to high. What's the surround made of? It's an acrylic plastics and you can see the same stuff. Actually, the stuff you can pick one up at Home Depot or Lowe's. And I encourage you to go look and find one you like, but we're pricing one for a rental. We're doing the exact same thing in a bathroom, two bathrooms in Wendell. And um, taking all of this out and redoing it, rental appropriate. Good. Well, that's what we need. Yeah. And so, yeah, price that up. And would that cover yeah. the tub or? Everything. It was 500 bucks. 500 bucks surround the tub. Everything. And that's, that's why I cannot dissuade you. I mean, you know, the tile is really fun to do and it's expensive and we can make more money, but it doesn't make sense for you. And I love these old cast iron guys, but these acrylic, they're, they're fine. And it's hard to break. It is hard to break. If you want to break them, yeah. But okay, no, it's just worn and needs a mm -hmm. surface or needs mm -hmm. something. We need to do something with it. And I'd mm -hmm. like to, of course, do the fixtures up. There's fixtures. There's mm -hmm. place for fixtures for the tub. Mm -hmm. There's fixtures mm -hmm. for the shower. I don't mm -hmm. know what we'll wind up with, but mm -hmm. we'll tie it all together with something. These will come out, and you'll have your straight shot down to that single pole delta that turns. All right. Is that... Like, you prefer the single pole delta that turns? It's it's less potential for breakage instead of having these handles that people can pull and twist and, and stuff. Is that been your experience, less potential for breakage? Because that's kind of where I don't have the experience to know. Go to Fer part. We'll go to Ferguson. You go to Ferguson, whoever. And, and um, get the faucet that's a plumber grade. And it's better. Plumber grade. Yeah. Got it. Then the stuff you get, it's 20 bucks more, but it's going to be the last one you ever use. That's what I want. Yeah. That's what I want because I know that this, these kind of things are certain things that take a ton of use, mm -hmm. a ton of use, and handles mm -hmm. on things mm -hmm. take a ton of use. Eighty bucks in Lowe's, hundred bucks in Ferguson's, and it's double the quality. What's and the brand, or does it vary? Everybody uses Delta because the parts are on a plumber's truck. Okay. And the plumber walks over here. So a plumber, he, a plumber grade Delta. Yeah. Single, single pole. This, is, you know, that round thing. It's yeah. Got the kind of, it, it's, it's an acrylic clear, and it kind of looks like crystal. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, you go up and you turn it for hot and cold kind of thing. And the reason it's so good is that the plumber comes over when you tenant calls. They say they got a drip. Nine times out of ten, the parts on the truck. That's nice. And that's why the Delta. And so it's an eighty dollar instead of it's an eighty plus an eighty. Yeah. Okay. And then you call Moen and say, Well, it's warranty for life. Let me mail it to you. And you wait ninety days. Is there a a, a trap door on the back? And I can look at the There's two. One for the tub and one for the shower. Oh yeah. Look at the little guy. Right here. Yeah. Is he uh, uh okay. Okay, so you had an upgrade into packs. Uh, yeah. Now, some of these boards yeah. will need to be replaced, but they can be replaced from the underside. Because yeah, well, you have we a full basement a, to work with. Yeah, pull the tub out and redo anything you got to do. Really? You don't want to pull that tub out? We got to do a full kit that comes with a new tub. 
or we can just do the, the walls. Or you have the tub glazed? Well, that's what we were just talking about. I said, I, I yeah. said, do you cover the tub? And you said yes. You can. You can. Mm -hmm. But not cover the tub, remove, replace. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So the surround is the wall. Yeah. The mm -hmm. tub is going to get replaced. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to price the tub too. Mm -hmm. And it's, all, it's 500 mm -hmm. That's part of the $500. Oh, okay. But we can get the wall separate. I see. When you said kit, it included a new tub. I didn't understand that. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. You can just leave it. There's there's no, no harm real, okay. really there. I'll put it back. Okay. But um, if, if you want to leave the tub, I like the tub. Okay. And we can put walls up only. You like the tub? Oh, I'd much rather have cast iron because they don't make them like that anymore. Well, what can we do to dress it up? Um, glaze will be your best friend or worst enemy, and I have seen it come out really nice, and I've seen it come out. It looks like somebody tried to paint it with latex paint, and it comes out to be a nightmare. Mm. And that's why I have a tub that looks like yours, is that I don't know the, the difference. I mean, I see the exterior, and it's all shiny, kind of, when I'll catch the light right. And um, the interior has been washed with abrasive things, which you kind of have to. It's not, what is it, a 60-year-old tub, and it's going to show wear. And it's still better than anything you could buy today. Mm. All right, well, I can't, I don't, I, I'm mm. not going to be able to market this place mm. with it looking like that. So we need to come up with something. Okay. Um, let's begin some research on glazing. Because if the guy glazing said it's going to be over two or three hundred dollars, we can put a new tub in. Oh, yeah. yeah. And my guess is nobody could fix anything for less than that. Why don't you work up the price with the full kit, including the tub? Okay. And we'll do some research on this other thing as well. Sure. The toilet, I have one of the eco toilets in the basement that could go in there. Mm -hmm. um, this one's coming out. It is the original. Mm -hmm. And it's a little cattywampus. Mm -hmm. Um, so, well, you've got some floor failure. And, we do have some floor failure. Stuff and that going needs on to be and handled. We can fix that. Yeah. And um, there's a little bit of plumbing downstairs. If you go downstairs, you can see that the sewer out full. Mm -hmm. um, instead of kind of coming along and going straight up, it's coming mm -hmm. along and kind of going at an angle. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure that that was meant for mm -hmm. a certain reason, but I'd, I think if we straightened it up, mm -hmm. the toilet would shift a little bit more. It's going to shift a little bit more when we get it straightened anyway, but I think it would shift about here, mm -hmm. um, which might be a good idea given that we want to try to put a sink unit in. If I have a tape. Mm -hmm. I have one. Here. <clears throat> I'd like to put a 24 inch. Mm -hmm. Source high efficiency. It's not a round. I'd like to get a round, but I have an elongated mm -hmm. one, which is, could be could be an issue in this room. Mm -hmm. But in here, I'd like to have something like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. which I think will fit. It's 25 inches. Yeah. Yeah. And how you interface it is yeah. up to you. You have a picture of John McKinney when he was really young and very good looking. What? You flip back one. It says one of actually uh, the friends he competed. Oh yeah. He's, yeah, I stuck his card in here. Have you seen him. John recently? John doesn't look like that anymore. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Neat guy. Yeah. Um, you don't have to worry about this. But I will tell you that there is a code provision, and you are real close either way. But so how close these things are? Um, you're not ever going to have a code official going to walk in here and, and say, you might not do this stuff. But, you know, yeah, mine's tight. They're tight. It's just what these bathrooms were. I know. And they wouldn't let us do this, but I just want to let you know that that is something that we're not going to worry about. We're going to put in whatever you want. Because I got several of these five, six, seven gallon flushes in my backyard. I kind of like them. Okay. I mean, I'm all for saving water in every other location in my life, except here. Okay. 
But anyhow, um, and I would advise that um, these lines that you see goes from plastics to stainless steel. Okay. Really, really hard to break them and cause problems like that. And um, are you going to offer washer dryer? There's already one. Is it in the basement? Mm -hmm. Okay. It might not matter, but I was going to tell you that there is an in, 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 in animal that exists that's just called a, an anti-flood line. Right. And basically it goes on certain appliances. I don't think it's toilets. I think it's um, washing machines. I think it's dishwashers. That, um, I think I've heard of it. The tubing knows when too much water is being called for and it cuts off. So that you will get wet. But you will get five gallons or fifty gallons, and not five thousand gallons. Interesting, anti-flood. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's I, good to know. Okay, so back to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Okay. Um, I'd like to replace this with something that would go along. Yeah, something. I don't know. That's an over cabinet thing. Possibly do that here, but okay. but. Is that your um, 25? Let me grab that yeah. real quick. Yeah, so something like that here. As we, I think we can set, we, this has just got a hole. Well, something that would work similarly in yeah, there. Yeah. Well, it, it still has the slot, and when I took mine out, I had a massive collection of the old Wilkerson razor blades. Oh my god. Yeah. And that's, you put this in, my dad was put in, you know, I grew up in 1945, and he put the razors in there when they followed in the big old pile of razor blades from 1956. The bad thing is the fixtures I buy won't be that good. They won't last 60 years like those are. No, they won't, but we'll get something mm -hmm. decent on them. It'll be fine, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. back here. Mm -hmm. um, Wow. I could live without this, but I guess we could keep it if we could put some decent, some maybe some more dressed up doors on it. I, I'd like to do um, the beadboard paneling to replace this stuff mm -hmm. and have it come around. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what height it comes up to, but whatever mm -hmm. height it is, I'd like to do some. I'd like to replace these doors with doors that would match the beadboard. Okay. So kind of do the beadboard thing with, with the sink vanity, mm -hmm. with this, mm -hmm. with that doors, with mm -hmm. this. With the wall board. Okay. And um, the flooring, mm -hmm. um, I think the floor itself is decent enough. Mm -hmm. um, pull them up and put some, replace these tiles with some vinyl tile that yeah. looks halfway decent. And um, I don't know that I would pull it up. It looks fairly flat. Unless. So you put over? Just flat well, over? Yeah, all you need is a flat surface. And I'm, I'm wondering if the little cove here is going to negate that effort. Because we do have a little bit of a curve and a slope, and we've got some irregularities around here. But um, <clears throat> the solution to that is a thing called Luon, and it's 10 bucks a sheet, and you need probably two sheets in here. And we tack it down, and what happens if we put vinyl down? It's going to see that there is a cavity, and it'll form a line. Yeah. And so the Luon is a sub, it would be a subfloor to whatever I want over it? One inch thick <coughs> plywood. It's about that thick. The Luon. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm familiar with it. And you nail it down and you put it up underneath. You take the thresholds out and everything goes on top of the little one. Great, let's mm -hmm. do that. And it's flat and it's smooth. And you pick out a color and a texture at probably no less than 78 cents per square foot of whatever you want, vinyl wise from Home Depot. We put it in. Great. And you pick out a color for your threshold, whether it's gold or silver or wood. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. Sounds good to me. Okay. I love my 1949. It's got plaster walls. These, are, these I think, are them. And they're that thick. No, they're monsters. Yeah, and they got concrete in it. Once they get that house warm, it stays warm. Mm -hmm. We can skim these if you like, and if all of these little you know, nooks and crannies bug you. They do. What do you mean by skin? Um, usually we Oh, can, you mean with wall, with wall compound? Or? Um, drywall mud. Yeah, please we, do. You know, rough and 
and get it, um, you know, 12, 14, 16 knife and then just kind of go over it. And then, kind of like if you remove dry, um, wallpaper, mm -hmm. because you see the glue residual looks mm -hmm. like a map, mm -hmm. and you skim it, mm -hmm. and you let it dry, and you use a sponge sander. Mm -hmm. And and the nomenclature of belly buttons, you've got innies like that, which is a cavity, and you skim that. But when you have an Audi like this, then you have to get a knife-oriented type tool and cut it out to form a cavity. Then you can skim it to make it go away. Gotcha. But anything that sticks out, like this is a really good illustration of an innie. Yeah. And that is skimmed. And the Audi gets <clears throat> turned into an innie and then and, it gets and skimmed. An Audi, if you are That's talented actually... enough to turn it into perfectly flat wall, but usually you're not because you grab a five in one that's got an ankle and you grab it and you go and then you skim it and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And these people have talked to you about lead-based paint. Oh yeah. And people have talked to you about oil-based paint. <clears throat> okay. Because I know these walls have been painted since 1975. Without a doubt. No. They've been painted repeatedly. Yeah. Yeah. No. But um anyway. Anything else we need to look at? I don't think so. Um I will help with colors and textures and get quotes for you. Um